What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Married to Film. I'm Ralph and this is Shamanda. Hi you guys. And right now we are at episode 9 of The Walking Dead. Uh, this one is called, episode 9 of season 6, this one is called No Way Out. Um, oh God. The mid-season finale at the end, we finally, uh, they brought up Negan. And Negan was the only character I had ever heard of on The Walking Dead before we started watching. So I guess we'll get to see him in this one. Um, That's not the most important part. I know. The most important part is. Go ahead. Oh boy, Sam was saying mama as they were walking away. Yeah. Oh my God. He was supposed to have been acting like he was a zombie. Zombies don't talk. And they got guts on them. So he was like, mama, mama. So I think he's about to get eaten. <laughs> he probably right, man. <laughs> uh. And then they're going to have to break because they were all hand in hand mm -hmm. walking. And he's yet, he was whispering. Well, to us, it seemed like it was a whisper saying mama, mama. But I think he's getting ready to get louder. So I hope it opens up with that. But if it doesn't, okay. All right, you know. What else are they going to show besides <laughs> Glenn on the outside? Right. And Abraham and Daryl on the outside, remember? Well, they were with Sasha when they got pulled over and the dude was like, uh, brought up Negan or whatever. Okay, they so I do want someone to elaborate on this particular part. This is it. Don't spoil <laughs> it. Don't say anything other than what I'm asking. The time lapse that they show between... Eugene on that walkie-talkie um, walkie when he says help because the zombies are coming toward him and the time difference between Daryl on the walkie-talkie asking for Rick. He says Rick a couple of times. He waits and he, all he hears is help when he's driving toward them at Alexandria. Okay. All right. Fix that part for me because <laughs> I was a little confused because it it made sense when I went back and saw some of our recordings. Mm -hmm. It made sense because I knew that that was Eugene saying help because I remember that's the only thing that he could actually belch out was help before he was about to be attacked with the machete in his hand. Mm -hmm. He did have a machete, didn't he? Yeah. Or something. He just didn't swing. That's another one. If he get his hair cut, he might have strength. <laughs> maybe not. That may be the opposite. You're right. 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 Uh, let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> I just ranted. I'm sorry, y'all. Why don't you come on out? Join us in the road. Oh God, it's called No Way Out for Real Room. That's great. It's going well right out of the gate. Now step two, hand over your weapons. You got an RPG. Why should we? Yeah. Well, they're not yours. So if you go inside the truck, you can get it and lit it up, mm -hmm. right? Your property now belongs to Negan. Now if you can get your hands on a tanker, your people, our person wants to know. So let's get those side on, shall we? Don't walk up to. Really? You bold. Wow. Dog. Thank you. Well, he just didn't cut his throat. Or he got guns pointing at him. So. Uh oh. Come on, ginger baby. If you have to eat shit. That's not the nibble. Bite, chew, swallow, repeat. Goes quicker. Who are you people? I get the curiosity. But we have questions ourselves. And we'll be the ones asking them while we drive you back to wherever it is you call home. <gasps> Take a gander at where you hang your hats. First, though, your shit. What have you got for us? Yeah, you just took it. Come on. I mean, can we not? Okay. There's more. There is always more. Oh. Bite, chew, swallow, repeat. Who's Negan? Ding dong, hell's bell. You see, usually, we introduce ourselves by just popping one of you right off the bat. But you seem like reasonable people. I mean, you're sporting dress blues, for Christ's sake. I don't want you to get the wrong impression of me. Wait! 
take it back to that town y'all was in. You don't have to do this. Shut up. I am talking to the man. No, you're not. I'm not gonna kill you. Shoot. Yes, I am. Dead RPG. Thank you, Daryl. Thank you. Thank you, Daryl. But dang, those motorcycles would have come in mm -hmm. handy. My dude. <laughs> Guts everywhere. I know he mad because he wanted to shoot. Mm -hmm. Watch. So I'm just talking you up. Did he cut you? A little. What a bunch of assholes. Let's get you fixed up at home. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Nibble on that. <laughs> Nibble on it, though. And repeat. Like if you're dead, you're not really paying attention to where everybody else is walking. You know what I'm talking about? All right, new plan. Now you gotta split up. There's a the few guns aren't enough. Too many walkers to spread out. We're now going to the armory. We need our vehicles back at the quarry. All of us drive. We need to round them up. We leave. We come back. Judith, to the quarry and back. I... Get her in the car. Mm -hmm. I'll take her. I'll take her. Keep her safe in my church until you all leave the walkers away. What's wrong, boy? Oh, is that him and Michonne? I don't think so. Okay, okay. No, I don't feel too bad. Oh, Lord, I forgot about Eugene. Rosita, I'm gonna need your gun. I'm gonna do a sweep at the brownstone. I wanna see what other surprises are in here. Hey, he's waking up. Yeah, your, your niceness could have got you killed. Where is he? He's gone. Where's Denise? He took her. Didn't he? Let's get you up. Maybe when they search this place, they miss something. Depends if it was Aiden or Heath's group who went through it. Easy. Look in the Bibles too. Could have hollowed out the pages. Are you serious? We have two bullets. People hold up in here. People hide guns, ammo. Maybe something to start a fire. Let's get into our costume. Maybe we can distract them. We need sheets. Come on. Ropes, towels, anything that you can use to climb down the other side. It's gonna start raining again. <laughs> it was raining. The last time they used it. How things turn. People you love. They made you who you are. They're still part of you. If you stop being you. 
That last bit of them that's still around inside, who you are. I think she's gonna take the gun. Mm-hmm. It's gone. Who are those people to you? My parents. A man named Dale. Mm. Maggie's father, Herschel. A woman named Andrea, a man named Tyrese. Mm. Who are they to you? And Tito! Right. <laughs> when there's an opening, we'll make a break for that tower. Hmm? No, I'll just slow you down. Denise. Denise. You're here. With me. That's even scarier. Mm -hmm. You were right. So I'm here now. And I'm going out there. And I'm helping you. I like what you said before. What's that? That I wasn't born this way. You're right. I changed. And now I want to help you change. The gun went oh, off. yeah, that's right. Oh, my God. I started shaking. <laughs> he got shot in the eye? But he was still talking. What does that mean? What does that mean? Oh, my Sean went in mama mode. We're fighting our way out. That's three people? Just like that. Well, four. Well, we wouldn't count Ron. Not you. Sean was like, uh, listen. It's called No Way Out. Freaking, 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 freaking. 